cloudy day. I think it's apt. Have you seen the weather? It's yeah, it has been a cloudy day. Yeah, I, yeah, get yeah. I get the pond. Yeah. 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 Uh. I'm super funny. Uh, <laughs> what's interesting about Keller is Keller actually uh, decided he was going to main Cloud when Cloud came out. And then everyone decided to pocket him. Yeah. So he stopped. <laughs> well, I mean, it was even before. He dropped Cloud even before everyone was like, oh, you know, this character's so good. He still plays Cloud, doesn't he? Sometimes. I don't I, really I, see him busted out in tournament much. Last week he went Cloud against me when I counterpicked the battlefield. But yeah, uh, I think it was at Genesis. He, he like, basically became a DP main again. That's cool. I'm glad he did that. This day today is pretty sick to watch. Yeah. Even if it uh, doesn't usually make it this far. Actually, though... This is, no, I think this is where he usually, you know, was his loser's quarters. I, yeah, I was mistaken. I thought it was earlier. I thought it was later. Might be. Yeah, Strider's a real funny guy. I can't even read it backwards. I want to guess that the character selects screen you can, uh, you can I, read. Yeah, I'm just going to look at it later. I can't even think. I'm sorry. Leave me alone. But Caller living to 170 as per usual. Uh, re redorts? I don't think he've, I don't think I've seen him die under 150 yet. Keller? Yeah, not 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 on stream. Because like both times he played against uh, both games he played against Wolf and like each stock he was at 160. Well, that makes sense against Fox, I guess. I mean, well, how is Fox gonna kill day to day? Back air and up air. I mean, same thing he kills every character. Right? True. But uh, Stroder going going in with the cloud. He played Tweak and is like, man, this character's good. <laughs> Decided to so pick it up. Simple air dodge. Just right here. here. Up smash. But yeah, up smash. Brought it back. Oh, that doesn't happen. <laughs> what, what were you saying about 150 damage? <laughs> <laughs> that was at 65. That was really funny. I didn't expect what it <laughs> I'd be upset if I was Calor after that. I would be super upset. Because, like, oh, I guess I'm just going to... Because, like, usually the game plan with DDD is you're going to, like, okay, I'm going to get to, like, 120, and then, like, the game really starts because I have a whole bunch of rage, and they have to be scared of me yeah. from, like, 40% on. And hopefully you just pressure them and uh, go in for an air dodge bait or something like that. Yeah, DDD is definitely a very fear-based character. Because his, his forward air and back air are surprisingly good, though. Yeah, his back air, you know, of course he lands with it. The, the you know, standard DDD tactic is like jump, 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 wait for them to go in back air. This is like very, very bait and punish heavy. Uh, interesting of Caller to go to FD. Uh, I this is his stage, though, I thought. I think he always goes FD. It's funny that Stroder always goes FD, too, so... Yeah, I guess it's... I think it's just a comfort thing for Calor. A lot of down smash. Maybe platforms mess with them a little bit. I could see. I could definitely see platforms being something you don't want to deal with when Cloud is in the mix. Yeah. Because of just Cloud's like super efficient platform pressure. I want to see Calor maybe go to Lilat. I wonder if Day-to-Day is good on Lilat. I want to say no, because I would imagine Gordos don't really function well on Lilat. Additionally, recovering might be a little bit troublesome. I could see a tendency yeah. to possibly get Lilatted on that stage as DDD. I mean, Although I'm, I, I'm not really. Wow. Yeah. I mean, did Keller have enough jumps to really jump over that limit, neutral B? I wasn't paying attention, but you couldn't just air dodge it. I don't know, I wasn't looking, really paying attention when it happened. Here comes all the nares. Yeah. Cloud is uh, Cloud's really good at throwing out a really big hitbox. Cloud's hitbox actually being around the size of DDD himself with that sword. I could see this being a really frustrating matchup simply because Cloud's moves come out really fast and DDD has come out really slow. And so Cloud can kind of go for the air to air versus DD, which not a lot of characters can do. Right. Because generally they've got to be afraid of a big ol' hammer, 
the hits really hard, but because Cloud has that sword, which is just enormous, he can sort of get in there and challenge it outright. Ooh. I saw that coming. Is that best of three or best of five? Uh, best of three. Best of five. Oh. Kalor repping the glasses at nine o'clock at night. Yeah, Kalor just decided. Oh, there we go. Okay, he's taking okay. him off now. He's, he's being serious. Oh, Strutter, Strutter's Marth. Strutter's Marth is so cool. I don't think I've ever seen it. Okay, Strutter is actually a uh, Marth innovator. He has actually created several Marth things. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Uh, ask about him in the Marth Discord. I've never joined Discord before, so I can't. Yeah. It's all right. They mostly talk about nothing. And the other half of discussion is like furry porn, so it's okay. Oh, that's so weird. I'm definitely not joining them. Yeah. I think Kalor actually knows this matchup, though, for some reason. Kalor has played Marth before. Briefly. Oh, that's right, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like last year or something like that. It was a few months ago. It was before Cloud came out, I thought. It I was thought after it was... Cloud came out. Oh, okay. So yeah, I think he, he picked up Marth for like a brief moment for whatever reason. Well, that was, uh, that was... unfortunate. Yeah. He just put the up smash out and said, You're coming here, Kalor, and he went right there. Uh, that was. I like the attempt. Yeah, that I was like very, the attempt. That was an incredibly Stroder thing to do, except for the SD. Falling up air, not safe on shield, gonna get grabbed. Uh, DDD's very early percent grab combos are pretty good. So, do you think Martha's good against King Daddy due to his forward air being able to hit that Gordo back? Because the Gordo's basically useless against Marth. Yeah, I mean, Marth is good against DDD for a number of different reasons. Mostly because in most matchups, Marth's failing is that he's not fast enough. But because Marth... Fast as in his uh, moves aren't fast. His moves aren't fast. His, right. his movement itself is very quick. I mean, he's got very, the quickest walking speed in the game, I think. Uh, it's one of them. But he, he walks very quickly. He run, His dash is very good. But just his landing lags on moves. and Yeah, his moves themselves have a very kind of long arc. And generally, that's a problem versus a lot of characters. A lot of characters kind of kind of kind of like just like shield and then punish. Right. But against DDD, because DDD's moves are even slower, and because DDD as a character himself is slower, this becomes sort of a matchup where Marth gets to be like a rush down. He gets to be like old school Marth, some brawl Marth. Yeah, he gets uh, to. Oh, that's yeah. that was predictable. Yeah, you don't get re grab the ledge versus DDD or else you're going to get dash attacked. But yeah, Marth gen generally uh, gets to play his game versus DDD. And in the, in the few instances where Marth does get to play his game, he is a very good character. Right. But we're going back to Cloud because Strutter doesn't believe in himself and doesn't believe in the Marth. And we're going to <laughs> Battlefield. Up air, catching air dodges, because why not, given, given that too. I'm curious why Kalar didn't switch characters for Battlefield. Um, I don't think I've seen Kalar switch much at all today. I mean, and Kalar doesn't really switch a lot. You said he switched versus you? Yeah, yeah. That might be the Rob matchup on Battlefield. You want the Cloud, or maybe he doesn't like Cloud Dittos and he knows he's probably going to lose against Schroeder's Cloud. Yeah. I, I can see the Cloud Ditto being not something he wants to get into. And I could see uh, versus Rob, he might definitely want to switch because I imagine that match would be his insane well, lame. Why well, didn't he up be? Game five? Game five? <laughs> <laughs> Don't do anything stupid, Calor. Just play smart. Play the time. Even though there's five minutes. Yeah, you think he could time him out? No, but I think he should just play the time. He doesn't have to go for a timeout. He just needs to play conservative. Yeah. He might die here. Like, this might be bad for the re-grab. This might be bad. Oh, no. 
He tried to do the same thing he did with Marth, just wait for him to come back on stage. Oh, wow, that almost. There we go. Oh. Do you think the EF smash would have killed? No. Well, if it was facing that way, oh, maybe. Oh, stage but. bike with the Nair. That move could actually do it all. It could kill off the side, it can stage bike, it combos. Kind of dangerous position here for both of them, because all it takes is one, kind of one more DDD combo, and Cloud is like at super kill percent. Right. Ooh, he missed the follow up off of that. At that point, it was definitely an up air with that DI. Mm -hmm. Kind of interesting how uh, DDD players control space with the Gordo because they know it's going to get hit back, but it's almost like a bait. Like you're forced to hit this. Which right. means I can punish your hit. I mean, it's still not good. The projectile still sucks, but it's, yeah, it's you know mediocre at best. Turning a oh no, turning lemons into you know stale lemon water. Not lemonade because it's not that good. <laughs> In with that. See, that that was kind of the thing. He made him go out and get the... Oh. Oh, well, he's dead anyway. Yikes. But he made him go out and hit the Gordo with the Nair, and then he went and punished. I have no Which, if you've ever tried to though. punish Cloud's Nair, is actually exceedingly hard. I don't smoke anymore, dude. I quit like two